Hi everyone! Um, this evening I'm going to be doing a little video for you. Well, it's evening, it probably, when I release this, it probably won't be the evening. But uh, this is a picture from um, Magical Jungle and I'm going to be using my um, Black Widows for this. And I thought I would just show you how I was doing these uh, these leaves. Now these, this is an underwater picture as you can see from the fish. I've had some fun colouring these in lovely bright oranges. And I'm using all the greens from my Black Widow set to do these um, leaves. And I thought it might just be fun to show you how I was doing them. Now I'm not massively zoomed in because it's a really long leaf. And so I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to start with the darkest green. Now in my set, as I showed you, this is the spider set. Um, the fang green is a really dark green. So I started with this one on all of the, the other two leaves. I'm just doing them all the same really. So starting with a layer of green. Now this isn't, I'm not pressing really hard. I don't want to um, push down and get a really, really dark green colour at the moment. Um, the thing with pencils is always to remember that you can layer them up. Um, you can't, well you can take, I was going to say you can't take away layers but you can. Um, I use a rubber, an eraser I should say, to uh, to do that. But it's, um, it's better to try and get it right um, to start with if you can because once you've erased it doesn't always quite look the same. Um, you can sometimes take away a bit of the paper and things like that and to try and get it even isn't always easy. So I'm just working along this with a light layer to try and get a little bit of the darker green in the bottom of the leaf. And what my idea is to try and fade it now. So I'm pressing quite gently. I find if I go slower I can get a lighter layer. So I'm doing that. And I quite like this bit at the bottom just to be a bit more um, intense with the green so I'm just pressing a little bit harder. Now, I don't normally um, record in the evenings I'm normally a bit tired. I'm actually extra tired tonight. I um, was up late last night watching England losing the football so uh, I'm tired this evening which is why I'm not going to edit this video and put it up tonight. It'll come up, it'll be a bit later so it'll be a bit of a delay by the time you get to uh, watch it. So for those of you that aren't from England or Italy, you wouldn't know it was the uh, Euro um, final and England made the final which was fantastic and they did really well but unfortunately it just wasn't their night. Now my next green, wow it's really, I love this sort of metallic print on these pencils, it's the toxic green and what I'm going to do is just take that colour up. I'm going to colour over what I've done already and just take that up a little bit up the plant. So it's really simple. So I'm only going to do a light layer down here. I don't want to completely um, obscure the fact that there's darker here. So I want that dark to show through. But I just want to layer up the greens. And it's what I've done on all of these. And I find um, using all four of the greens from this set you can get quite a nice effect. I have been playing with them um, making different greens, um, not with this particular brand of pencils, but with and uh, finding that if you add a blue to start with under certain greens, that can darken it up. Because, of course, if we think about our um, colours and how they're made, green is made from blue and yellow. So, if you add blue, it does work and it goes green. If you put green on top of blue, as long as you don't have too much blue. So uh, if you add a dark blue, you can get a uh, you can get a darker green, and then as well, if you want a lighter colour, you can add some yellow, and uh, so you can start blue, green, next green, lighter green, light green, and a bit of yellow. You get a nice transition of colour. I'm not sure if I've done a done a video like that. I have done. Uh, I probably will soon, actually little one planned but uh, we'll see. So I'm just taking that up and like I did with the darker colour just fading it as we go up here. So that's that layer. My next layer just leaning across is the Everglade. Now I find this one is um, very vibrant and I think it's why these are looking quite fluorescent -y. It's uh, 
you'll see when I put it on but, and you may wonder how I'm going to get to that colour from this when you see it. Now I want this stem in this colour too. That's how I started this stem, believe it or not. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing in this colour and I'm going to try and do an even layer. Now it's not always that easy and you can't necessarily see. What I don't want is any sort of streaks of this colour but I do want it all over the leaf. So uh, we'll go all the way up. Oh and I did mention football for those of you in the um, North America that's soccer. Um, you call it soccer I think rather than football because you and Australia you might call it soccer, I'm not sure, because you have your own Aussie rules. I remember watching Aussie rules when I was in uh, Australia, and I've watched American football too, because we sometimes get it on the TV here in the UK. Um, for me, it's got to be UK football. That's what I like watching, and only at a high level. I'm never interested in watching the little teams playing. Oh, just concentrating here, look, we've got a little gap in the leaf don't want to go through to there because there's a different plant under there. I think we've got this wibbly wobbly one. That's my official name for that plant, the wibbly wobbly plant. Actually I think it's seaweed to be honest. As I, I told you, I warned you I was tired. So uh, anyway, I do like the high level football. It's quite fun. Okay, now with this stem part, what I want to do is try and make some give it a little bit of um, I'm not sure what the word is I'm looking for but what I'm going to do is do a little darker touch on the edge and what I'm trying to do is make it look slightly rounded I'm not sure this is going to work with this palish colour but so by adding a darker bit of this to each End. Sometimes it can make it look a little bit more rounded. It doesn't always quite work. But I think we may need a darker green to get it to work. But anyway, just uh, just work it through. So now we're going to grab the last green. Now this is going to take that colour to this colour. And you'll see this is the cicada. And this is a much more yellowy green colour. Um, and start start on the stem I think. Now with this I need to make sure that I do cover every bit of the leaf. Um, the earlier stages weren't too, didn't matter too much but this one really changes the colour so if I left a bit of this stem, let's see I go up there and I leave that bit, you can really see that this bit's very blue. I'm not very zoomed in today so you can't, might not notice it too much but uh, yeah, you can see my fish, because I'm not zoomed in. These were done with the Black Widows as well, and I basically started with the Ladybug, and uh, I used that on the fins and the bottom of the fish, and then used the... Um, make sure I cover that bit. Um, and then I used the... I think it's the pumpkin. I think there's a pumpkin orange, and a toadstool, and then I used the egg yolk over the top of the whole body of the fish to make it look slightly yellowy. That was quite fun. So I used really the very much a similar method to what I'm using for here, but we do have a final stage of this which we didn't use on there. And for the eyes, I did black in the middle, and uh, for the sort of iris part, I don't know fish really if you call it that in a fish, but what I did for that was I did a little bit of grey each side and left the top and bottom white. And I think that gives a slightly glassy, more lifelike appearance to the eye. Sorry, I can't speak. And uh, so that's quite fun. So, and because I'd coloured orange over part of the iris, because as you know, if you've watched my videos before, I can't stay in the lines. So uh, I went over some of it with a bit of a white gel pen. And it actually makes it stand out a little bit more because the paper isn't white. It uh, it makes it stand out. I'm just going to look in the camera because I think the camera will show me if I've missed any like that. 
it shows up better in the camera than it does to my eye. And the screen is very little too. Right, let's see. Yep, that's done. Now what we want to do is try to make this stem part look like it isn't flat against the leaf and it's standing out of it. It's what I've tried to do on the others. I think it's worked better on this one than here. So what I'm going to do is do a line here to look like shadow. Now what I try to do when I'm doing a shadow line like this is to go over the top of Johanna's <coughs> excuse me, over the top of Johanna's black line and slightly out and I hope you can see that that's having a little bit of an impact and uh, making it look a little bit shadowy now never leave a gap between Johanna's line and your shadow I'm getting my head really close, I'm just checking the camera, make sure you can't actually see my head because it's so close to the paper, luckily not quite in the camera angle. You don't want, if you leave a gap it doesn't look right. So I've done that side and hopefully you can see it looks a little bit shadowy, I'm going to do the other side as well and make it look as though the light is coming sort of from above. because um, if it's coming from one side we'd only have shadow on one side but I always try and make it look like it's I mean for the fish they're lighter on the top so the light's coming down but for these it's coming that way so it doesn't really it's not very realistic I mean it's not it's not what I'm going for anyway but I just wanted to look show you how to do this so that it looks slightly more three-dimensional there. Now, where this I wanted this stem to look slightly three-dimensional too, I'm going to use this one. This is the toxic green again, and go along the edge of it and see whether we can get it. To, I'm going to sharpen it. Oh, someone's walking around upstairs very noisily. <sighs> Children are up there having a shower. I sent them away quickly while I make this video. So if I just do these edges, I'm hoping that it might give it some effect. It might not work once we've got this black. Now I'm going along the edge, it doesn't matter if you if you go over on top of the black, darker area as well, over the black and over this dark fang green. It doesn't really matter. You don't do it on purpose, but it'll be the end of the world a bit less up there because it's narrow and down here I'm really not sure whether this is having much of an impact but it's fun anyway <sighs> there we go now someone recommended to me that when you get bits that you brush them away with the makeup brush it was such a good idea but I don't I forgot to buy one when I was in town I don't tend to um, use them now my last touch, I'm looking at this thinking, I can see quite a lot of paper through here. I don't know how well you can see that. So I'm going to go back over with this, sorry, it's the, it's the cicada. And just, what I do, what you can do at this point is just fiddle around with the colours until they're how you want them. There's still plenty of tooth left in the paper, so you can make it darker, make it lighter. You know, you could add a layer of everything all over again. I'm just going to finish off with this one myself. Now when you're trying to make it even, my tip would be do smaller areas. Don't go like this because you get a stripy pattern. If you can cover a smaller area, I am going quite fast, but then you don't get so many marks and you don't get harsh hard lines because the idea is that I want this to sort of blend into all the other colours that are here now if you use a sharper point you get a more defined line which can be useful when you're on the edge like there when you're in a big area you probably want 
although the sharper point will push the colour down into the um, tooth of the paper more, it can then make a streak. So it's just a matter of practising, thinking about what you're doing, watching the effects you're getting from the different pressure and movements you're making until you feel that it's working for you. Now if you do make a nasty streak or a mark that's too dark, you can try and erase, as I said before. Sometimes it's easier to just layer up other colours around it rather than taking it back, just add more around to blend it in. Yeah, I think I'm nearly done with that one now. There, there he is. So there are three leaves. So um, hopefully that's given you a few tips. And we used um, just these four um, Black Widow's pencils. So we used the, the um, Fan Green, then the Toxic Green, then the Everglade, and then the Cicada. So there we go. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, oh, no, you can't see them. Let's tip them. That one doesn't want to play, does it? There we go. Um, just a quick reminder that if you did like the video, I always love it when people click the like button. It just makes me know that I'm doing the right thing. Do leave a comment if you want to. If you would, if there's something you'd like me to colour, um, leave me a comment and I'll have a go and see if I can find something like it and have a go at it. Um, and um, do subscribe to the channel if you want reminders of when my videos come out. And also, someone subscribing just makes me smile. It makes me very happy. So if you can, that's really lovely of you. Thank you. And thank you to everyone that already has subscribed. That's really brilliant of you. And last little reminder, um, don't forget to have a look at my website. The, the um, link is in the description. Um, and I've got other articles, tutorials and different things on there which are different to here so you can have a look at those and also um, I do send a newsletter out um, fortnightly which you can sign up to on the website and there is a direct link in the description and that just has news and bits and bobs and just what's happening to me, what I'm doing, what I've been up to, what I might be doing in the future just so you sort of a little catch up really. So uh, there's that one as well but thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video and happy colouring. <laughs>